am Craig Donnan. I'm with the Office of Aging and Disability Services for the state of Maine, and I'm the project manager for the implementation of this this day in Maine. And we're here today to hear from Josh Weideman, a person who has taken the CISA and hear about his experience. And uh, we're excited to hear his story and um, and help share kind of with other people what it was like. So I'm going to turn it over to Josh and Donna and have you guys introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Josh and I, I have cerebral palsy and I received services under the Section 21 waiver and I took the CIS. My friend here is Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, Josh. I am Donna Umbro. I am an assessor for Maximus and I did Josh's assessment for him. Hi, I'm Lisa Haran. I am the operations manager for Maine CIS and um, just wanted to talk with Josh today about his experiences with, with the assessment. So Josh, if you're ready, I'll go ahead and start asking a few questions. I communicated, I communicated to Donna by email. We sent a couple emails back and forth. Uh, my case manager was the one that actually set up the interview, so I didn't have to set it up. I just followed up with a couple of questions. I think it's crucial to give people the choice to to have the assessment where they, they want because it is about them. This might be a weird one, but I did. I, I, I said to everyone that came, because it's my home, I would like you to take your shoes off. Okay. And they did. I I did ask if they had a female assessor. Okay. I do I do work with females a little bit better. Well, it was very long, but it was very needed. Um some of the questions had a bit of wording that we we had to think about and it's designed for people to think about what a person's needs are so i think that's good one of the questions i always remember can josh screw in a light bulb no that's not practical but the the it was such a silly question but it's really I think I think asking as many questions as possible is good. And you are also able to take breaks if you need to. Oh, mm -hmm. good. So a person can take a break if it's too much. Mm -hmm. Donna did inform me of that right from the jump. Some of the benefits. Uh, well, anyone should do this assessment who needs to get an accurate depiction of their needs the one thing i would say it didn't go it didn't go back far enough to necessarily get that accurate depiction so some of these questions you really needed to dive in and get the real needs of a person and donna did that we had, we had some in-depth conversations. Um, most everything there, except Donna, because she was doing the assessment. I think Donna learned more about me, but I think me and the case manager have been working together for so long. Uh, we, we knew that already. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I want to just say one thing. It's important that the individual get to choose who is helping them with the assessment. I had a hard time reading it, so my case manager helped me with that. Once she read it, and once we talked about it, I fully feel like it did. But if I'm being honest, once I, I looked at that, I was like, I don't know what it means. I was very 
not scared, but sometimes I I don't necessarily know what something means until it's explained. I just want to say that I believe Donna did a very nice job on my assessment. Thank you, John. I think she was professional. Mm -hmm. I think she was very personable. I think she was easy to connect with. And I, I just enjoyed her. Well, Josh, thank you so much. I appreciate your letting you letting me visit with you today and chatting with you about the CIS. And um, Craig, I'll turn it back over to you. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you, Lisa, for being the interviewer to Donna and to Josh for spending the time today. I, it was really great to hear uh, personal experiences, and I think it's going to help other people who are interested in, or in the CIS and help help them understand what they what they would be in getting getting as a result of the CIS. So thank you very much. Thanks, Josh. All yes. right. Well, we're going to wrap it and have a great day. Take thank care, you. Everybody. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Josh.